Hey friends. <laughs> it's a little chilly. It's a little chilly. Well, I am near my home, um, but I'm at the lake because it's been very, very, very windy. And on windy days, it brings down the cottonwood branches that have beautiful buds on them. So I have my gathering basket and I have all of these fantastic branches with all of this wild medicine. So you can see these buds. I'm just going to start gently pulling them off um, with very, very cold fingers and hopefully this will all work itself out. Um, but I'm going to stand here and begin popping these off and putting them in the basket. Now, once I'm done cleaning all of these branches off of these fantastic buds, I'm going to take them home where I already have a mason jar with Everclear in it. And this is going to cure over the winter season. Um, and I can keep adding to it all winter. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are. <clears throat> This might not look like a lot, but when you put it inside of a mason jar, it is actually quite a bit. I would bet this is probably four ounces of buds. Um, and then there's all of the sticks. I'm going to return the sticks back to the soil that I harvested them from. And I'm also going to make an offering. Cottonwood buds. I'm making one in Everclear as a tincture that's going to sit for a long time. I won't even pour it off until the spring. And I'll keep adding to it. Um, but another, this batch is going to become an oil, so I'm going to take uh, a really high-grade olive oil, put it in a mason jar, and store it in the, um, I have a curing cabinet, and it's where I leave things to just sit and rest out of sunlight, and it's a nice, cool, dark place. So, these buds, you could think of them as aspirin, right? They help with, um anti-inflammatory. They also have uh, anal, I can't pronounce the word, but um, antiseptic, analgesic. Um, bees love the catkins and the buds they use. Um, there's like a sticky uh, outer part of the cottonwood bud and the bees use that to seal up their hives in the winter. My fingers smell like cotton candy and gardenia or like this really floral yeah something that I'm not around a lot is what it reminds me of like a flower that my body remembers when I don't have a, a lot of exposure to and so I'm to go back like I said it's a really cool day here but it's been windy and the wind is our friend and has provided um access to these buds that are normally high up the branches. So I'm going to go grab another round and then get back home to finish this process. So I wanted to show you one thing. It's sandy. So these have quite a bit of sand on them as you can see. And what I'm going to do before I even put these in oil is I'm going to put them through a fine sieve strainer um, and just keep shaking off the sand to clean them. Now remember, they're sticky. They have this outer protection that is really, really good for us and the wildlife. Um, so I don't want to wash that off. I want these to actually be nice and dry before I put them in oil to prevent any chance of molding from occurring. So I'm going to take them home and sift them, get the sand off, and then lay them out on a um, cotton cloth for a few hours. Make sure that all the moisture gets pulled out from the rains that we've had here the last few days, and then I'll put them in oil. So until next time, friends, wherever you are, however you are, be well. Okay, here we go. So I sifted the cottonwood buds and got the, most of the sand out. So it's not going to be perfect, and that wasn't what I was going for. I just wanted to get the majority of the sand off of the cottonwood buds so that they could really be in the oil. Okay. 
So this is a 12 ounce mason jar. Let's see here. And I have it almost full. And now I'm gonna take the olive oil. Let's, oops. <laughs> I missed. Okay, and there you go. You can see that there's a little bit of headspace. I wanna leave, they're all submerged, okay? And I did dry them before putting them in the oil. And so now we're going to um, take the rest that I have here. And this is the Everclear. <laughs> and I'm gonna pour the rest of these into the Everclear. So the reason why I'm leaving a little bit of space in both of these jars is because I'm gonna keep adding to them throughout the season. The one in Everclear is going to become a tincture, that's this one, and you can see how it's beginning to get a little reddish. That is from the medicinal properties of the cottonwood, isn't that pretty? Look at those colors. They're just in there jamming. All right, and there you have it. So I labeled them. This, again, is going to be the tincture, and then this is going to be the oil that can be used on, um, like, topically. And they're going to go into a cool, dark space um, with, again, some things being added to them every, you know, month or so. I mean, I don't come across cottonwood buds all that often. And um, I'll keep adding to the one with Everclear. I didn't leave that much space. The one with oil, but I won't be pouring these off into other containers until the spring. So there you have it. And I wanted to share this and I forgot because I was so cold earlier. <laughs> I had been at the lake um, the majority of the morning and early afternoon, so I was a little frosty. Um, but what I wanted to say is that this is my first season of really foraging and beginning to create medicines and um, working with different plants in different ways. So I understand the local flora around here and I have been able to collect foods for edibility. Medicine making is a whole new animal for me. Complete novice, learning as I go, sharing what I'm learning as I go, and interestingly, <laughs> in between being at the lake recording coming home, sifting and drying the cottonwood buds, I put one in my mouth, right? So I was mentioning before that there's this word, analgesic, that I'm like, I don't really know how to pronounce that word, and what does it mean? So I put the bud in my mouth, and wow. I mean, if I had something going on with um, my tooth, it would have made everything a thousand times better. So the medicine inside the bud immediately began to numb um, the areas of my mouth where I bit into it. It did have kind of a sour bite to it for a while, and then it mellowed out, but I could feel the medicine. I could really feel the, um, the medicinal properties of the bud working its way around my mouth. And I thought to myself, I wonder if I could make bitters with these um, cottonwood buds because it did have kind of that bitter digestive taste to it too so I'm going to look into that I don't know um, but there there's definitely I think there's a lot of ways to use them and I'll be sharing as much as I can as often um, as I'm like learning as I go so wherever you are however you are wishing you all the best Mwah.